it, the topic is um do genes actually affect or do genes determine whether or not we grow long hair and you know the topic came to me because recently <laughs> let's sing she says <laughs> we better talk about hair first before we can sing um the topic came to me because you know i've celebrated three years natural well three years since my big chop and you know i've posted some pictures celebrating some videos etc and the first question people ask is you know how how did you do this like not even how did you do this what products do you use you know which is interesting because i was talking to another friend of mine hi hair by carrie i see you girl all the way from botswana my gosh hello um yeah and the, my friend this good friend of mine just like ah i just keep my hair in cornrows uh for two weeks and then after two weeks i sort of take the the cornrows out and i co-wash so she's been co-washing for like months months and months and i'm thinking co-washing is good but you know yeah, there's other things to long to growing your hair long and healthy so i think we'll just get on with the topic um and my my intention is to post this on youtube because i think there's many people that that couldn't make it that voted no and don't do a live do a recording um so they can actually view it so there's two articles that i want us to focus on and i think the misconception that our hair doesn't grow or our hair can only grow like this much um, is exactly that. It's a misconception, you know, and I've done a little bit of research <laughs> um, and I've done some screenshots. I hope that they work okay. I'm gonna share them with you guys so you can see. I don't know if you can see. So I'm gonna I share that one and I've underlined the things that I feel that we should talk about because I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when I was growing up, there was no one that had like back length hair or waist length hair. I don't know about you. Comment below. Did when you were growing up, did anybody that you knew that was African, obviously, did they have, you know, back length or waist length hair? Comment below. Let me know. But anyway, that article is pretty much saying that the follicles on our hair, on our scalp, they're given to us at conception. So God determines how many follicles you're going to have up here. And it also says, um, uh, da, 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 da. the hair, the hair grows through phases it, or it goes through phases. So there's phases that the hair goes through over your lifetime in order to regulate the health of the hair. And also obviously so that you don't have the same hair from the time you were born up until you were 80 so the hair has got phases that's number two hey angie angela all the way from perth i see you i'm waving at you uh i see love bridge i see you yes so she says no she she's never seen she's never known anyone growing up that had hair to their back or their waist and neither did i guys like no one had long hair like that but these days people are like so much hair and the question is how, you know, and the question is, you know, have we been lied to or did we just not know how to take care of our hair all those years? For those that are joining, I'm just reading this article that I've shared. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Let me know if you can't see it and I'll share it again. But it pretty much tells us the growth phases that um, the hair grows, goes through phases. There's a resting phase, a growth phase, then there's the shedding phase, which we all hate because that's when you actually lose your hair. It also says, uh, let's have a look here. Your genes. Hey, Ruth, AKA Keleto. I see you, darling. Let me wave at you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for joining. We're just reading the article. Let me know if you can see it. Yeah, hair by Kerry says, I've never known anyone growing up that had hair to their back or their waist. So we're reading this article where it actually says, um, your follicles are determined by your genes. So genetics determines the number of hairs on your scalp and the thickness as well. But um, also how long your hair is going to stay in a particular phase is determined by your genes. So that's that. 
and I guess God determines these ones, these eyebrows, they just grow like up to two months. Their growth phase is like two months. After that, they stop growing. You know, that's how come we don't have like hair up to here. But the one here, it can grow between three and five years. And keep that in mind, because I'm going to come back to that and really answer the question, can anyone grow long hair? Can we actually, can anyone grow long hair? Or is it just genes? Is it just some people that are gifted that have really good genes that can grow their hair to their back, for instance? So this article says after the growth phase, hair uh, formation ceases and then the follicle recedes and then the hair is expelled. Uh, and then the new, it rests a little bit and then the cycle begins again. So that's that. We don't obviously want to have the hair in that phase um, where it's shedding for too long. However, it's a natural thing. And the second one, I'm, going to, I'm only going to share two articles today. So this other one, I'm not sure if I've sent it to you guys. I've sent another one, which says, now this one tells us the growth phases, the anagen phase. And I say that initially anagen, uh, the anagen phase pretty much is between three and five years for anyone, whether you're African, whether you're Caucasian, whether you are, Hey Trev, I see you. I'm waving at you. <laughs> um, whether you're African, whether you're Caucasian, whether you're Indian, your hair should have, if you're healthy, there's no illness, there's no metabolic issues happening, you're eating a relatively healthy diet, you should have a growth phase between three and five years, right? Okay, so that's determined. So we've determined one, follicles are given to us at birth, thickness, it's at birth, although you can improve your thickness because some of us, because of just not taking care of our hair and our scalp and not eating right, we have never seen the full thickness of the hair. So thickness can change, but it will change to be your optimum, not to be like someone else's thickness. You know, hey, Batanai, <laughs> how are you? I see you. I'm waving at you. Okay, so this article that i've just said uh, that i've just sent let me know if you can see what i'm sending guys i'm not really good with the live thing but it's showing us the phases of the hair growth so this article is actually saying any human being grows hair um at half an inch half an inch to an inch every month and i've brought my tape guys because i'm going to show you what exactly that looks like okay i'm going to put my laptop down and I've got my tape here to really show us what half an inch looks like. So this is an inch, half an inch would be like somewhere here. So any person, African, Caucasian, whatever you are, um, you know, you're going to grow hair half an inch. I personally grow hair half an inch. Some people will grow hair one inch or even a little bit longer. Those are special people. Uh, most of us will grow half an inch. So if, we are growing hair half an inch um, per month. It means that in a year, we should have six inches. Six inches of hair in a year, okay? In two years, we're gonna have 12 inches, right? And in three years, we're gonna have 18 inches. So our hair can grow up to that. Anyone, anyone. Bearing in mind, obviously, if you're unwell, if you've got some illness, alopecia, if you've got, you know, iron issues, you know, metabolic issues happening, or your nutrition is just super bad, then obviously this will be altered. It can actually force the hair to go into the shading phase, which is, I think, is the telogen phase. No, the exogen phase. So, hi, sister. Half an inch in a year, Bella says she grows her hair half an inch a year. No, half an inch a month. So because we've read that the minimum that any hair will stay in the growth phase is th um, three years. The minimum for any person is three years. In three years, any individual should be able to grow hair this long, guys. And my hair is not even there in three years, but it can be. And why is it not there or why does it struggle to get there? Well, I'll take myself as an example. I trim my hair a few times a year, you know. So if I trim maybe two inches every year, it means in the past uh, three years, I've trimmed like six inches of hair. So pretty much 
the other year is gone you know if you trim less then maybe you can maybe get up to a 16. so in three years anyone can grow 18 inches which really dispels the fact that anyone can grow here hey love bridge i'll be happy with just four inches a year please <laughs> I promise you grow more than that. <laughs> I promise you grow more than that. A lot of us don't focus on the ends of the hair. And I feel that's where the problem is. When I posted some pictures of, oh, three years natural, boom, everybody came to me. They're like, what's the product? What's the product? What's the product? And my heart sinks because I can give you a product that is going to help you stimulate your, your hair, your scalp, help you grow hair longer you know but if the hair at the ends is breaking you're gonna lose all your hard work hey chiwie i see you here for moral support hey mojo bang is it mojo bang i'm not sure how to say it i'm waving at you hey candy chalky caesar i see you thanks for coming thanks for coming i was just saying we've just had a look at two articles where it tells us that the follicle, the follicles on our hair are pretty much predetermined by God. You're born with them. They develop while you're still a fetus. And then the thickness of your hair is also predetermined by God. But there's things that we can change about our hair. Because the question here is, can we actually grow our hair um, like anyone else? Or is it genetic? And maybe the question that we should be asking is, what, what, does, what does long hair mean to you? You know, and, and, and this question should not be influenced by the people you've seen on Instagram or YouTube that have got waist length hair. Answer this truthfully. For you, what would be long hair? Is it shoulder length? Is it bra strap length? Is it longer? What is long hair for you? Because we've just determined, because for those that are just coming, guys, so I'll quickly repeat. Any human being can grow hair continuously or can stay in the growth phase of hair for at least three years and in three years you should be able to grow 18 inches of hair and that's because we grow on average six inches a year so in three years you have 18 although if you trim your hair if there's breakage happening if there's some illnesses happening that can be affected you know so that can you know that can affect the growth of your hair so comment below guys i'm still waiting what what would you consider as long hair what is long hair for you what is what do you what do you consider to be long hair is it shoulder length is it waist length is it back length and while you guys are commenting below i'll take out my duke <laughs> In Zambia, we call it the duku, you know, I'm home, obviously, and I'm hiding my hair, but we'll take out the duke and measure my hair. I don't know if you guys want to see what my, my, my actual length is. So we'll measure it with a tape and see if it's 18 inches because 18 inches is what anybody can grow, you know, if obviously you are unwell and you don't have illnesses. <sighs> hair by Carrie says, even bra strap hair is long. Yes. Chibuye, long. He just says long. <laughs> long hair is long. I get you. Like, we just went long hair. Um, Rue says, hi, Rue. She says, yes, please show us. Okay. Pele says, shoulder length. Sister safe to shoulder length. So people just want the average, like shoulder length, which is, I'm like up to here. I'll take this out so we can see what my hair is doing. So my hair, my hair is three years old because I went bold. When did I go bold? Three years ago. Exactly three years ago. And this is how I normally keep my hair, guys. I do my twists and I just leave it alone in twists. And I guess, you know, sometimes people are doing too much to their hair. So your hair is breaking. You're not preserving your ends because the problem is here. Um, this hair, if this hair is three years old, it means that this hair, the one at the ends, is the oldest this one is actually three years old it's old hair this one here is maybe this one is two years old and that one will be like a year old but this is the the oldest hair that we're trying to desperately preserve and that's where the secret is 
not in the product. Yes, products are good. They'll stimulate your length. They'll help you, you know, grow hair at a faster rate. But if your ends are breaking, we're not in business. So let's go ahead and measure my hair, which is... So Ruth says shoulder length. Chibuya says long hair is my... Long hair is my bold, my bold part of my head. Getting here again. Go for it. Chibuya is a friend of mine who's like old buddy from high school. And he's going bold. But I don't know if I can help him with that. I don't know who's, um, if anyone can help with that here. Encourage Chibuya. Say something to him. Okay. Bra buckle length. So Love Bridge says bra buckle. And then... Modra says, mine is half of yours and it's three years. Honey, what's your regimen? I really want to know, like, what's your regimen? Do you, are you gently detangling? And how often do you wash your hair? I want to know those two things. So let's measure my hair because um, we want to see what I've done in three years. And this, I'm not the best natural that's out there. You know, I know there's people that are more diligent than myself. Am I on the right side? There's people that are more diligent than me in preserving their hair or preserving their ends. But my hair is up to somewhere there. So whatever that is. It's about 12 or 13 inches. It's around there. Did you see that? I'll do it one more time. It's a little bit... I never use tape because I'm so lazy about it. And it's, it's a little bit hard for me to use tape. So, yeah, I don't know if you can see, but it's around 12 or 13 inches. And because if you're growing as little as half an inch a month, which is not much, if you're growing as little as half an inch a month, in a year, you should have six inches and celebrate your six inches because you've worked hard for it. How do you retain that length? detangle gently don't be going in there like that with your hair guys that's the reason your hair is breaking and you're not seeing the length here if you're you're not patient and you don't have the time to be detangling gently do this me i'm a lazy natural hey i put them in twists i i tie them up like that and i'm done like i'll stay like that most of the year and i'm able to preserve my ends so that when i detangle my hair i do it super gently i just relax and just try and do it as much as possible so six six inches a year two years 12 inches but because i've done some trims obviously i've lost quite a bit some trims and breakage <laughs> so i've lost quite a bit so yeah given that i try so much with my regimen and i still am not here and of course you have to trim your hair so you know, 16 would be something more realistic in three years, which would be like here. Guys, we can get hair this long. Come on. <laughs> okay, let's see the comments. Um, so, Rue says, I changed my mind seeing how long yours. I want bra buckle. Of course, it's possible. Rue has got the most amazing hair. And yeah, she she doesn't think so, but I think so. I think your hair is amazing. I'm afraid of pain. Mojo says, I'm afraid of pain, so I don't comb. I wash once a week. Okay. Do you detangle? Do you, how do you get the knots out? Do you detangle? Do you use your fingers? White tooth comb? Um, and then, hair by Kerry says, wow, no, you're, uh, now you've got long hair. Yes, I've got long hair. Three years down the line. I'm looking forward for four years. But I'm addicted to braids. Well, braids. The thing about braids is how long are you keeping your braids in? How long are you keeping your braids in? And when you take them out, what do you do with your hair? Me too. I do braids a lot. Well, what are you doing with your hair while in braids? How long do you keep them in? And when you take it out, what are you doing with your hair? Those are the three things. If you're doing braids, what do you use to detangle your hair? I use my hands. First of all, I go in my hands. Um, Caesar, you're asking, I use my hands and then I'll go in with a white tooth comb and a Denman brush. If I'm really wanting a good detangle, I'll go with a Denman brush. But the secret is to do it super gently. 
do it gently and do it as rarely as possible as rarely as possible. i go like maybe for a month without even detangling my hair because it will be in twists or even little mini mini twists i've done videos on mini twists where i keep my hair in the twist so that i skip the detangling one week two weeks three weeks i'm missing the detangles and then i i detangle in the fourth week all right so uh i do trims though okay how often are you trimming I think the hairstyles we do are our killer. Absolutely. Fishtail. I know people hear that. <laughs> Swear by fishtail. You know? And having no solid regimen. Absolutely. Zero regimen. Like not doing anything. The scalp also, yes, the hair grows on its own. But stimulate it once in a while. Get some, you know, blood flowing and increase the rate of your growth. And the nutrition that's going to the hair so that it comes out at, it, at its best. Uh... So three to four months. So someone's keeping their braids for, for three to four months. That is a no. Don't keep your braids that long. Um, six weeks, two months if you want to push it. But within that two months, you have to somehow find ways to really put moisture in your hair and maybe even do like a protein treatment to strengthen the hair. Because four, three months is too long for the hair to not have any nutrition or nourishment you know what i mean detangling with your hands is great after braids it's wigs my gosh what are you doing girl my goodness don't go from one style to the next and i'm about to do a video about that actually uh uh do you use any products when detangling yes i do a diy detangler that i'm gonna post soon maybe in two weeks or three weeks but, you know, deep conditioners, oils, um, a lot of sleep in the deep conditioner. And then, oh, Claudia just joined. Hi, Claudia. I see you. I see you. And then Tano. Tano, I see you. You've just joined. So, guys, what are your thoughts? Any other questions? That's pretty much. So, to answer the questions, yes, genes determine how long you grow your hair in that Obviously, it's genetic as to how long your hair stays in the growth phase. But research says that at the least, all of us should at least be able to keep hair for three years in the growth phase. Not in the resting phase, not in the shedding space, shedding phase in the growing space. I can't even talk in the growing phase. For three years so three years is the minimum that anyone is able to actually keep their hair growing and if that's the case and you don't have iron issues you don't have vitamin d issues you don't have a metabolic health issue you're eating relatively right not perfect but you're not eating like crap all the time you should be able to retain eight if think about it people that have got dreadlocks yes there's shed hair in there and whatnot but the hair is still growing here and you can see the results here and every time you cut your hair, the hair grows back. So it's not about the hair growing. It's about the hair being preserved here. That's the issue. All right. So no. So I need to go bold and restart. I have iron issues. Well, I had iron issues before, guys. If you followed my journey, I had iron issues and I cut my hair. I went bold as well and this is my result after the iron issues you don't necessarily need to cut your hair you can transition and cut it off slowly and allow it to rejuvenate itself you don't have to go bold but if that's what you choose to do definitely go with that so jeans they do determine how long because some people are able to keep their hair in the growth uh, growth phase for five years <laughs> imagine keeping your hair in the growth phase for like five years so let's, let's go back to the measuring tape. If this is three years, it means that five years is one, two, three, four, five, six. Like five years is like somewhere there. You know, people grow hair that long and it's genetic. That one would be genetic. But on average, a lot of us should be able to get to 18 inches or at least 16 or 15 if we are trimming our hair or if we have some breakage or something happens. Um, I have iron issues, honey, get on top of that iron. Um, I don't know, you know, supplements. If you want to cut your hair, you can go ahead and do it, but you can also just cut it off a little bit at a time. So you don't go bold 
completely. And I wish I'd done that because I got a bit bored, you know, with no hair at all. And I'll do another video for that one as well. But it's definitely a personal choice. I say, you know, if you really want to do it, you can do it at least once in your life. But, you know, I love hair, so I won't be doing it again. <laughs> um, gotta go, yo. Oh, so you're going. Bye. Hair by Kerry is leaving. Thank you. Uh, this was fun and interesting. We'll definitely catch up on YouTube. All right. See you. Thanks for coming, honey. Uh, yeah, it's Pop. I see you. This is my long time social media friend. Thank you for coming and supporting. So Love Bridget says, instead of twists, can you, can you live on African threading? I'm hopeless at doing twists. I'm pretty left-handed with braiding my hair. So I'm not the best, to be honest. Um, and I find that twists are okay. I feel like twists are even simpler than African threading. Bridget, is it Bridget? <laughs> I feel like they're simpler than African threading. But if you want to stick to African threading, you can. Although African threading depending on how tightly you're doing them, if it's too often, it can start to eat up the edges. So I like to switch things up a bit. This is my most comfortable and my easiest style. And the twists, they're not perfect. You see, they're loose at the bottom here. And they, I actually don't twirl as I twist. Um, and I'm still okay with that. But you can with African threading, but it'll probably have to be something that you have to take care of at the root so that you're not ripping your edges off. Uh, in your live video, come into the live video. Ooh, okay. And then there's Claudia saying, I have vitamin D issues that needs to be fixed before you can see the optimum of your hair. I also had, did I, I think I had a little bit of that, but it was more the iron. And after I fixed that, you know, I started to see, you know, things happening, but it, cause hair goes in a cycle. Once you start losing the hair, you can't stop it. It has to go through the cycle and then it's going to start again. So your aim is to fix that iron and fix that vitamin D while you are in that shading phase so that when the phase finishes, you're ready to grow your hair. How often should you trim? Any technique to trimming? Well, I trim my hair at least twice a year. I don't feel that like there's a right or wrong with regards to that. It really depends on... You know what you're doing with your hair, you know how bad your single strand knots are, your split ends. You might need to do more often than myself, but generally speaking, at least twice a year. And I like to do it on dry stretched hair because the stretched hair gives me a really good idea of where the, the knots are, where the single strand knots are and, you know, split ends, etc. Um and I definitely use shears. Don't use any types of scissors. You use the hair shears because they help make sure you have a clean cut when you do your trims and you're not leaving the hair like that when you trim it with any other sorts of scissors. Why is my hair keep itching even if I use warm water? Oh, I'm not sure why your hair is itchy. Um, like what products are you using? Maybe it's the products or the shampoo you're using or maybe you're not shampooing often enough. Um, fenugreek is a good one for itchy scalp, a little bit of some essential oils and even lemon just in your deep conditioners can actually help with itching. I find and dandruff as well. All right. Do I use products while twisting? Yes. I use a conditioner and mainly castor oil. Yeah. Butters, shea butter, but yeah, nothing too, too special. Unless there's anything else you guys want to talk about, I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to post this one on YouTube and we can definitely follow through. Do you guys have any other questions? How long does each phase last? Sorry, I think I missed it. The So the article that I put up, so the growth phase lasts between three and five years, Pele. So the growth phase of hair lasts with lasts between three and five years for any individual to fall in there. And that's genetically determined, but the minimum is three years, unless there's health issues, unless there's anything happening. Um, and then there is the, mm, there's the resting phase, which is called the telogen phase. I'm just reading here because I didn't, I didn't, I forgot about the telogen. The telogen phase lasts, I think, three months. So it's just like resting. It's not doing anything, but the the one that we're interested in is the growth phase which is three to five years so at a minimum three years your hair will be th growing 
like growing. If it's not retaining length, it's on you, not on God or the scope. <laughs> um, hey, Kezia, you've just arrived, but we're just leaving because we're all finished now. Unless anybody else has got questions, um, I'm going to step out. So yeah, genes definitely determine how long you grow your hair. But on average, people should be able to grow at least 15, 16 inches within a three-year period. Ruth says, thanks very much. That was very informative. Looking forward to your discussion. Thank you. Yad Pop, you mentioned castor oil. Should I put it on top, down, deeply? Uh, castor oil is a sealant, so you put your leave-in conditioner and then you use the castor oil to seal the moisture in your hair. Castor oil is good also for hair growth as well, stimulating the scalp. Good reviews about Jamaican castor oil, if you can get it, um, that would be a good one to try out as well. So, yeah, I would go out. Those are, well, that's the one that I use mainly. It's probably the most abundant oil in my home. Ah, but and I hold some information. P, thank you, mate. Thanks for coming up here and supporting me, even if you don't have any hair issues. <laughs> Hi, KP. You've just joined at the end. We're just finishing here. I can brief you um, about what we've discussed, but I will be posting the video on YouTube anyway. It's kind of cool to hang out, guys. Sorry, but I really enjoyed this one. Big up to you. Applause. Thank you. Yet, Pop. I'll see you in the comments. You're always commenting. What about avocado oil? I'm not very familiar with avocado oil. Initially, when people were going natural, lots of people raved about it and it definitely has benefits for the hair, but I, I don't, I, I've never really used it in my regimen and I can't really say a lot about what avocado oil does. But oils, uh, oils are really good. I know people, there's a lot of people that are hating on cast, um, coconut oil at the, moment, at the minute. People are just like, coconut oil is the enemy. Coconut oil broke my hair, you know. And some people claiming that there's protein in uh, coconut oil. There isn't any. There, there's no protein in coconut oil. So, you know, it's not the best oil for sleep and that, but it, it does have its benefits. Hey, KP. Um, I'll wait for the YouTube video. All right, coolies. All right, guys. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go now. <laughs> I don't want to leave you here, so I'm waiting for you to go. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, if you, if you want to go, guys, you can go. If people still have questions, I'm here for another couple of minutes. I'm one of coconut oil's biggest haters. I know. Um, why do you hate coconut oil? What did coconut oil ever do to you? Like, it's coconut. It smells good. And it nourishes the hair. People are like, coconut oil shed my hair. I lost all my hair because of coconut oil. Ah! Mm, never heard. Well, not have, never heard of that. But I can't see why an oil. Oils are the most natural, most nourishing things ever. Tell me more. Um, that's pretty much it, I think. There's now seven of us in here. I'm not sure who else is here. Any other questions, guys? Thanks for the info. Claudia, thank you. I, it dried out my hair. It doesn't dry out your hair, but it's not an effective sealant. KP, that's what I find. It doesn't seal my hair. If I use coconut on my hair, my hair will be dry the following day. That's because it's so light, it doesn't actually lock in the moisture. Things like castor oil, they help lock in the moisture and they're humectants. So they actually bring moisture from the atmosphere into your hair. It's the same thing that honey does. It's the same thing that uh, castor oil does. Brings hair, brings moisture from the atmosphere into your hair. So your hair feels moisturized naturally. Coconut oil, very light. The moisture that you've put after you deep condition or whatever, it escapes very easily because it's super light. So you feel like the castor oil is the one drying your hair, but it's actually just not an effective sealant. But when it comes to actually nourishing your hair, it does. It does have uh, benefits. Oh, well, breakout, yeah, possible. Oils, yes. Any oil with, with the skin can cause uh, clogged pores and whatnot. 
uh thank you so much i have learned a lot thank you so much Mwah, caesar thanks for supporting me thanks for coming up here all righty bye bye hugs see you later guys thanks for coming tada i'll put this on youtube if you guys want to go up there and ask further questions or whatever you may want to do but yeah see you later genes do determine hair growth but not quite <laughs> We know that we can grow hair. We know that we can definitely grow hair. Love you. Bye.